Hello, I'm Jeff Phillips and welcome to this week's webisode. Today, I have a marketing and branding expert and Tim, Tim Peterson, welcome to the show. Thanks, Jeff. Yep. Why don't you explain to the viewers a little bit about yourself and what it is that you do? Great. Again, my name is Tim Peterson and I have a company called Right Brain Branding and we help companies develop their brand. And a brand is basically your company's story and what your company's about. Okay. So, so why is it so important for a company to have a brand? So a brand is really all about your company's, uh, your miss, the mission of a company, the story of the company, the vision of a company. So it, it is, encompasses everything about it. So the, uh, the personal and, and uh, even the cultural side of a company and the visual as well. Okay. So, so let me throw it back at you. What's your favorite coffee shop? I would have to say Caribou Coffee. Great. Okay. So when I say caribou coffee, tell me, what do you think of? Um, I think of a ski lodge, actually, especially in the wintertime. Excellent. Perfect. So they have spent probably millions, if not almost billions of dollars to get you to think about that. Because when you say Starbucks, you don't think ski lodge. No. You don't necessarily think warmth or a, a, a warm atmosphere. But caribou, you do. So that's their brand. That's, they, that's what they want you to know them as and why you would go to Caribou over Starbucks. Now, some people go to Starbucks because they like whatever it is about Starbucks that they've spent millions upon millions of dollars to get you to think about your com their company. Okay, fantastic, cool. So um, is branding just for the bigger companies? Yeah, so we talked about big guys, but it's for everyone. You, you are a brand, and Focus Studio is a brand, Right Brain Studio, and branding is a brand. Um, we ourselves are brands. So it, it's everything that you are uh, with your company and all the people in your company. So it's the personalities. It's how people think about you, how people feel about you. And there's a, a little you know, thought process with branding. The only time you actually own your brand is that first day when you create it and put it out there. After that, it's out there for the world to disseminate and create and fix in their head of what it is. So it's important for you to constantly be controlling that conversation or guiding that conversation about your brand and, and who you are. Okay, so uh, is, is it expensive to come up with a brand? Obviously you said these companies spent millions of dollars to create it, but as a, since we're talking smaller businesses at this point, I mean, what does it take for a small business to create a ba ba brand? <laughs> uh, so what it is is basically your story. So stories are huge in branding. Uh, people, people love stories. Uh, you want to get that story out there. So if there's <clears throat> a story about why you started your business or, or why you love doing what you do, why you're passionate about what you do, that's part of your brand and that's what people want to connect with. So everyone has that with their company or should have that with their company, hopefully. So that is all part of creating that brand for, for you and, and pr again, putting it out there for people to understand and to be able to resonate with. You want them to be able to uh, you know, f have some kind of feeling about your company and, and, and get that personality feel from it. Okay. So how does all this play into the web? <laughs> well, whether we like it or not, we have global companies. We, have, we live in small towns. We love the small town atmosphere, but we're, we've, we've all gone global. We're all on the World Wide Web. So the, the web is huge uh, in, in building your brand. It's a lot of times the first thing or the second thing that people see about a company. So they might get a referral, they might meet somebody personally, um, and the first thing they're gonna do is go to the web and look you up. So what you wanna do is make sure, again, that you have that story on there, that you have the look and feel of your company. Uh, it's very visual, so you wanna have you know, the, the right visual things. Does your business card and your web match? Because if they have your business card and they go to your web, this is green and this is blue, I, it, it, there's a disconnect. Um, if they have a story of you being warm and friendly and then you've got this cold, sterile website, you have a Starbucks website instead of a Caribou website where it's warm, um, there's a disconnect. So you want to make sure now that with the web and everything that's going on on the web is really connecting to what your brand is because it's out there all the time working for you. Wow. Well, very good uh, information to kind of give us a, a kick in the butt to maybe get our brands if we don't have them. Um, I appreciate the information. Sure. If the viewers uh, would like to find out more or talk to you, is, well, where can they go? Uh, our our uh, website, which we're actually redoing to better connect with our brand, is rightbrainbranding.com. And uh, so feel free to peruse the information that we have there. 
Great. Well, thanks for coming in today. And for you, the viewers out there, I will have that uh, website at the end of this video. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.